A new date time function has just been added to the suite of formula functions in SmartSuite. Hi, my name is Artem, I'm a product manager at SmartSuite, and in this quick tutorial I will show you how the new function works. As the name suggests, date time can accept text or date as an input and generate a date time value as an output. Let's see several examples here. The first column is actually a text field that contains strings for dates in various formats, and the formula field next to it is a very simple date time that accepts this text value and generates a date time out of it. And when looking at the results, we can see that first of all, it accepted all those various formats and understood that it's April 8th, which is correct, but it also added a time value to it. And the reason it has 12 a.m. everywhere is because none of these dates had their own time. Okay, moving on with the next one. This text column contains the same set of dates as strings, but I also added time values to them. And you can see I'm using different formats just to illustrate how all of them can be properly parsed and accepted. And the formula field next to it does pretty much the same thing. It accepts the text value as an input and generates a date time as an output. And we can quickly check that all these time values were accepted correctly. Now let's see how date time can be used in combination with other functions. The first example we have is the date add. And you can see that we're still using the same text value as an input, and then we're just adding two hours to the result that the date time will generate. Let's check the output. We had 8 p.m. as an input. It says 10, 9.15 turns to 11. You get the point. Another popular scenario would be using date time, or rather outputs of the date time, in combination with other functions, such as date diff. And that's exactly what we have here. So remember, in date add, we were adding two hours to the output of date time. Now, next to it, we have a simple date field with some time values. And then date diff right here just calculates the difference between those two in hours. This is how the formula looks like. It's very simple, but I'm quite sure it will have a lot of use cases in your builds. All right, that's all I have for you for the daytime. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and I will see you in the next one.